All right, so welcome back. So let's go ahead and unbox Everdell Mistwood now, now that I've unboxed New Leaf. Man, this is just beautiful artwork. I absolutely love this. So let's see what's inside Everdell Mistwood, shall we? So we've got the uh, catalog stuff. Set those aside. The rule book, we'll set that aside as well. Ooh, it's thick. It's thicker than New Leaf's, uh, thick, thicker than uh, New Leaf's rule book. Interesting. And then it looks like we've got some punch outs here. Don't know what that is, but those are all uh, webbing, isn't it? And that one is also, huh, interesting. With a lot of webs. Cool. Well, it is going to have spiders involved. Spider lanes, I should say. And we've got these two giant boards here that are technically punch outs as well. Although this one's artwork and stuff, right? It looks like this one's got information, almost like a player aid almost, you know? Very cool. Let's set that aside. Okay. We got cards here. We got lots of cards here. We'll take a, take a look at those last. We've got a new dice. Ooh, I love this dice. Very cool. It's big. Very big. Very cool. Here's the... Uh, the mistress herself, the uh, the night weave, uh, I forget her name, it's been so long, but she's the uh, giant opponent if you're playing solo or two player mode that this expansion's all about anyway. So watch out for her. <laughs> okay, cool. So that's her. Um, yeah, we'll put her back. And then we've got lots of bags. Okay. And then we've got more frogs and rabbits in here for the new critters that come with this expansion. So it's it's smart that they uh, that they put critters in this expansion too because um, uh, maybe people don't want to play the solo mode or maybe they don't want to play against uh, an opponent like her, you know. In this, in the uh, so it's good they added all of these critters to this expansion too, so that way you have something to get even if you're not really interested in the solo variant of the new solo variant for this expansion. So it's still got something for everybody because everyone who, do, who doesn't like new critters, right? Who doesn't like new critters? And with new critters comes new critter powers too. Okay. So first we have pigs. We get to play with pigs now. Very cool. And from what I understand, they got an interesting uh, uh, player power too. They get to start with, I think, four farms in their town. They get to start with that. That's cool, right? For their player power. Anyways, we've got pigs now. Woohoo! Pigs. And then we've got butterflies. People like butterflies, don't they? So, hey, you want to play as a butterfly, you better make sure you get this expansion, Mistwood, because that's where the butterflies come from. Very cool. Very beautiful. Then we've got the animal that most people are probably going to want to play with unless they like spiders. So we've got the spider lanes. Uh, so you can play as spider lanes too. Even if you're not playing against, um, against her, you can still play as spider lanes. You know, they're not necessarily, they're not necessarily all the bad guys, right? So that's cool. Spider lanes, another critter you can play as. And the fourth critter, which is probably the coolest critter in the expansion, the stout stouts are in this expansion so if you want to play as a stout you're going to need this expansion too so four new critters to play as very very cool let's go ahead and put those back in the bag for now and let's take a look at these cards next and if i can open them fast that would be nice and it looks like i can okay cool so Here's the new powers for the four new critters. We've got pigs. Very cool. Very cool. We've got the stouts. Very cool. I always knew those were stouts at the monk. I always thought he was a stout. So now I know for sure. Very cool. And we've got the butterflies power. Very cool. Oh, you even get to start as first player if you're butterflies. That's interesting. And then we've got the spiders. So you can play as spiders, and this is their power. Very interesting. And you have to be the last player if you play as spiders, apparently. Cool. And then 
whatever this is supposed to be. So we got that. Cool. Now we got just the cards to look at, just these cards. So let's see if I can open this fast as well. And then, of course, we still have a couple other things to look at besides these cards because I'm going to be opening up the Click Clack Upgrade Pack after this. So we still got lots more to check out for this video. Okay, so here we have cards. Okay. Ooh, I like this. Look at this. Corin Evertail's Path. Evertail's Path. Very cool. So it comes with new construction and critter cards. Um, there's only one of each of these, I think. So there's another reason why you wouldn't go for this expansion to get these cards. Because, you know, everyone likes more critters and construction cards, right? Very cool. Uh, Corin Evertail's Field. Corn Evertel, the leader. Ooh, I like that one. Very beautiful. Corn Evertel, the Evertel, the king. Ooh, I love this one. This is my favorite. Corn Evertel, the warrior, going against a venomous snake. Ooh, yes, very cool. Then we've got new farms, or new look to farms anyway. So this is like a new artwork for the farm. They didn't have these guy, these critters in front in the original farm card. So that's cool. So new farms and there's variations. So this one you can gain a berry, but this one you can gain a berry or a point token, obviously different artwork. This one's a berry or a resin and different artwork, sort of like a fall season, you know, or autumn season. Then the winter season here, uh, you can draw two cards or gain a berry. That's cool. I like that one. This one's also got the winter season with a slightly different artwork to it. But it's also, also different. Another different farm with another ability, another artwork. Looks like that's a toad or a, yeah, a frog in the distance. Um, this is a hedgehog this time. Mouse in front. Once again, it's also different. Very, very beautiful. Lots of awesome farms. Let's see. Uh, let's try to make it a little easier on myself. Let's put those down. Okay. Then we've got the Chipter Swipple. And, and that's a legendary critter, by the way. So legendary construction, click clacks. And dark, deep prison. And it even tells you you can put the ranger with it and stuff, so that's cool. Um, the Everflame Tomb. So this, re this can be kind of replace your cemetery, I guess. Uh, Jor Goldwing. Very cool. Uh, King Norse Treasury. Uh, Mayberry Matriarch. Strong Root Castle. Uh, Stray Softpaw. And Terry Hair. Very, very cool. And then, looks like there's other cards here. Um this kind of a background here but then there's this kind of a background so let's take a look at these first i guess this is if you're playing uh against uh night weave the spider mistress that i was talking about um so we'll just take a quick look at these because there's still lots more to look at after all anyway you should be able to pause it if you want to take a better look at all this stuff Very interesting indeed. So much to learn, so much to read about, so much to see. Oh man, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be at this for weeks. And that doesn't include what's in the upgrade pack that I got. And then we got these cards with stuff on them. Looks like they're about the same, although there's different resources on each one or different spots anyway. So that's cool. But otherwise, they're about all about the same. So very cool. Yeah, different stuff on them. Different things you can win or get. Some of them act as Red Destination stuff. You know, that's cool. I really like this. I don't know what this is all supposed to do, but man, it's it's awesome. It's very cool. It's very exciting. Man, if you guys are getting Everdale and you haven't got it yet, whew, man, I'm, I can't wait for you. For you to get your own copy of this, because this is just amazing. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got another group of cards here. 
Got these. Man, so much going on with these. Man, so much stuff. Okay, maybe I'm doing it too fast, but... Here we go. Very cool. Copycat. Huh. Okay, creepy crawlies. Infestation. Careful, I don't want them to fall on the floor, right? Crawling eyes. Interesting. Man, there's so many of these. So much stuff going on with them, too, man. So much to learn. So much to learn. Sticky concoction. <laughs> man. This will definitely increase the game exponentially. Because I think this is all for... The solo variant slash uh, two-player mode. Very, very cool. And then we've got more here. With different stuff on them as well. Man, so much going on. They're differently named, too. There's different names on them as well. The Noteworth, the, the Narcissist, the Nonchalant, the Needy, the Nefarious... And then we've got all of these other cards, which I'm guessing are, might, might be player aids or something, or so much stuff going on. Yeah, very cool. And job, a job well done, for sure. <laughs> okay, so we still have that Clank's uh, upgrade pack. That shouldn't take too long to look at. So let's, let's go ahead and push this aside for the moment and try to move some of these cards out of the way so they don't get in the way. We'll just put them there. So this is the Click Clacks Upgrade Pack. So let's take a look and see what's inside this thing. I can figure out how to open it. If I can, that's assuming a lot. Not sure how to open it. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Wow, so this is what's inside. The Gilded Book, Comprehensive Everdale Rules. Whew, a nice, big, thick, huge book. Man, huge, 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 huge. Thick, thick, thick. Oh, man, it's like a giant, massive rule book for everything Everdale completely. Everything you would want to know to learn the game is going to be in this Gilded Book, I would imagine. Very, very cool. Okay, um, now we've got stickers uh, for occupied tokens, I'm guessing. Yes, that's what I'm assuming that these are for, occupied tokens or something. Stickers for them. But this is the main reason why I got this upgrade pack. Stickers. Stickers. So, so many stickers for all of the critters. Um, let's see if I can open this up, because, man, I want to look at all of them, right? I mean, don't you guys? Uh, let's see if I can figure out how to open them. Ah, oh, here we go. Hold on. All right. Sticker time. All right. Cool. Let's see what we got here. Stickers. Let's move some of this stuff aside. Okay, so that's the first stickers. Try to show all of them off if we can. So this will be a little longer than the last video. So just so you know. But this way you guys can get a good look. If this is something you want to get yourselves. You should be able to see all those guys pretty well. Moving on. Oh, foxes, the owls. Man, very cool. Ooh, here's the lizards. Oh, yes. 
Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Butterflies too. Very cool. More butterflies. Here's the bats and the bees. <laughs> very cool. Here's some more stickers for the pigs. We've got some rabbits here. For all the different rabbits, you know, for Spire, if you're playing Spire Crest. Then we've got the stouts and some more spiderlings. Here's some more rabbits. And more rabbits. And don't forget, there's still frogs, of course, right? Uh, and then here's the frogs and some more rabbits. Very cool. And more frogs. More frogs. But that's not all. Don't forget, there's still big meeples that are also in... And there's some more frogs, by the way. There's also the big ones for Spire Crest, the big maples, so the vulture guy, and that boar, and the peacock, and that bald eagle. Sweet. And what else do we got here? And then we've got the moose, and the bear, and uh, the wolf. And it comes with some extra stickers, so in case you mess up on one, you could you know, probably still have an, a backup sticker just in case something happens to one, right? That's cool, right? I like that. Smart idea. And then the Nightweave Spider herself and uh, the last critter, which is that, you know, Billy Goat type of critter. Cool. So that's the stickers, but we still got some more stuff in here, right? Oh, Everdale Archive. What is this? The Archive, Everdale. What's in here? What's this about? Uh, table of contents. Looks like this is like an index on all the different stuff, maybe. Wow. And the cards. Okay, so there's more information on cards in here. So the rule book has all the rules, but if you want information on what all the cards do, you know, cr the critter cards, the construction cards, I'm guessing they're all in this book. Very cool. The archive. Okay, what else? what else is in this Update, click upgrade pack. We got some more baggies, looks like. Whoops. And um, I'm guessing these are wooden tokens for the um, for the uh, um, occupied tokens, I'm assuming. Ooh, we got metal coins. Very, very cool. Okay, let's take a look at these next. Take a look at some of these coins. Oh wow! So now you can you can use these. Oh, that's cool. And it looks like they only have well, they all have six on them. So if you ever get six of them, I guess you could exchange them for these coins. That's cool. Oh, very cool. Cool metal coins. Very very cool. All right, so we got those. And we've got some more saddles, in case you need more saddles, I suppose. And more tokens for, maybe these are for the, uh, maybe these are for the, um, uh, the, uh, occupied tokens to replace the, the, uh, cardboard ones. And maybe these are for these, or as replacements for these or something, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not that. But still, a lot of cool stuff here to, to learn about. We've got a new score pad. Some more of that. Very cool. And then we've got cards in here, too. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so we've got some more cards here. Ooh. Artwork is different, but there's some stuff. It's definitely a card you can put in your town for sure, right? Oh, very cool. Different artwork, different stuff, I think, as well. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. And there, you know, there's something you can play in your town. That's cool. Man, so much to do. So much stuff to do. Wow. It's amazing. Oh, that's cool. And then 
These are just uh, additional artwork cards or something. Yeah, something. Very, very interesting. Very cool. Okay, and then um, we still have one more thing to look at, so let's do that real quick. We have the promo cards that we also got as well, so let's take a look at them. We got some new special events, Fairy and the Harvester, Doctor and Postal Pigeon now. So we'll set those aside, but then we've got these cards as well. The Everdale for Everyone promo pack. And some more rule stuff. Ooh, we've got names for the wives. And names for the husbands. Or names for the wives. And yeah, interesting. Uh, cool. Caleb and Clarissa. And Juliana. Noah. James, Jeremiah, Josiah, Olivia, Wesley. And then you can put your own names on these as well. So, like, you can... I could put my name on one of these. Not these, but... Um, where's the guys at? And then we've got uh, the Gatherer. So now, instead of the husband and wife, you can play with the Harvester and the Gatherer instead, which is the same thing, except... They changed the name. Um, yeah, I could put my name on here if I wanted to. That's cool, right? Um, so that's why it's called Everdale for Everyone, because you can put your name on these two. So that's really cool. And there's lots of them. Lots, lots of them. Very cool. And then the Harvester cards, which replace the husband. Very, very cool. And then we've got more farms that will say Harvester and Gatherer on them. So that's cool. So new farms to replace the originals. So even if you're not playing with a new up, up for, updated version of the farms and you just want to play the regular farms, you can still do that, but you can play with the Harvester and the Gatherers instead of the husband and the wife if you want because it's Everdale for everyone. And then we've got a new McGregor's Market that will also show you Harvester and Gatherer instead of Husband and Wife, like the original card. So that's cool. That's everything. I have shown you guys every single thing that I got in my package from Everdell. Everything. So if you guys liked this video too, don't forget to leave me a like for this video as well, okay? And I'll see you guys again next time. I will probably do a video um, showing you all of the stickers once they're on the meeples, that is. I'll show you, I'll show you all the meeples once they've been... Once uh, they've got the stickers on them, I'll do a video on that. I'll do a video, obviously, explaining how to play New Leaf and Mistwood when I learn how to do them, learn how to play them. And then I'll probably do a video explaining how the construction cards work and the new critters work and all that jazz. Um, so, man, so much content on Everdale to come in coming weeks. It's probably going to take me a few days to do the stickers, though. So don't expect that to happen anytime soon because, man, there are a ton of stickers. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave me a like, like I said. And man, I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.